It's like the 40th day of quarantine and I'm already running out of games to play and movies to watch, but thankfully the Halloween news does not stop. If you didn't catch my last video, basically I tried to predict when we were going to see the trailer or even a poster for Halloween Kills because at the time we were coming up on the two year anniversary of the Halloween 2018 poster and this movie is hopefully coming out in October. So I was like, when are we gonna get the trailer? I'm sure you guys have noticed by now that I answer pretty much every comment on my channel. And the reason I bring that up is that on my last Halloween video, I got a ton of comments where people were saying, we're getting the poster on April 16th and the trailer the following week on April 24th. When I would ask those people for a source, they would mysteriously disappear or say they know someone who works at Blumhouse who told them that. And obviously that's not happening because the 16th was last week and I have some evidence that I'm gonna talk about coming up that basically says, yeah, we're not getting the trailer this Friday. But because of that rumor, on the 16th, people started asking Ryan Turek if they were going to see anything from Halloween Kills, and he obviously said no, but he did let people know that they're taking extra time for the ad campaign because theaters aren't open right now, so they don't want to show things too early. And on top of that, what he has seen is looking really, really cool. Basically, what I've been saying for the past month is true. We just need to have patience. So yeah, while it's a little disappointing that we don't know when any marketing material is actually going to come out for Halloween Kills, I don't think it's fair for any of us to sit here getting mad at Blumhouse about it. I mean, they're in a really bad situation too. They don't know when the movie's coming out. It could very well not come out this October. So they probably don't want to put out the trailer or the poster too early if they're not sure when they're even putting out the movie. And I think that's totally reasonable. On the other side of the coin though, I understand people's frustrations because there's been a complete drip feed with everything related to this movie. I mean, we got a teaser trailer from behind the scenes footage last October and it's been pretty much nothing since then. And then the only thing we've really got and from the production side of things is Jason Blum telling us, yeah, the poster's coming out soon. And then another vice president from Blumhouse saying, no, we're, we're waiting now. It's not coming out soon. So people are just like, give us an answer on what's going on with the movie. And I, I get why people are frustrated there. How I'm assuming things are going on their end is that they don't want to release the trailer too early because if they put out the trailer in April, 2020, and they have to delay the movie out of October, 2020, possibly a whole year to 2021, that means they've blown all the hype they could have possibly built if they just held on to the trailer and waited to know if they were delaying the movie. And yeah, it's easy to sympathize with the production on that point, but really the reason fans are so frustrated is because the marketing with Halloween is just weird. It's like from one point forward, they can spoil the entire movie and that's okay. But before that point, they can't say virtually anything about that. And I really don't want to put that on Blumhouse because they're just handling making the movie. It's more universal, I think, who's doing all the marketing, but still it's frustrating that it feels like we knew everything about Halloween 2018 team by the time it came out, but now Halloween Kills might be coming out this October and we know virtually nothing other than leaks. You know, it's really frustrating. And yeah, as much as it hurts to say it, with all these people who are going outside and doing these social distancing protests and basically ignoring all of the rules that are in place to kill this virus, it's looking like we're gonna have to deal with the reality that Halloween is not coming out this year. I don't think there's gonna be a Halloween this year and that really sucks. I'm being very specific and saying delayed because I know there's a pretty big group of people out there who are assuming that if Halloween Kills can't come out this October in theaters, it'll just get released on home video like The Hunt and The Invisible Man. Ended, but I can pretty much guarantee you that's not gonna happen. The first and easiest reason to point to is that The Hunt and The Invisible Man were both in theaters for a little bit before they were pulled out of theaters when everything shut down and then they were released on VOD to make up some of their costs. Like The Invisible Man made a hundred million dollars before it was pulled. It was doing just fine. Also, if these home releases went as well, if not better for Universal than a theatrical release would have, we would be hearing about it left and right. They wouldn't be able to shut up about how much money they made. And honestly, it's been pretty silent on Universal's end. So I'm assuming those home releases did not do as well as they wanted them to. And if you're still not convinced, just take a look at Fast 9, which instead of being released on home video was just pushed forward a full year to April of next year. So if Universal had any faith in being able to recoup that movie's massive budget by releasing it on home video, they definitely would have by now. And as far as Universal is concerned, I'm not saying Halloween Kills is anywhere close to something like Fast and Furious 9 in terms of budget and potential profit, but it's definitely in a different league than The Invisible Man or The 
ton. Like this is a movie that has potential to make over a quarter of a billion dollars based on what Halloween 2018 made. They also have Halloween ends to think about in the sense that if they release Halloween Kills as a VOD only movie, they basically are cursing themselves to have to do that for Halloween ends because they can't take the middle movie in a trilogy, put it on home video only, and then release the third movie in the trilogy in theaters. Any momentum that would have been built by the second movie is just gone at that point because the audience is just simply going to be way smaller. So if I'm Universal and it gets to the point where I have to look in the mirror and say, hey, it's probably not going to be okay to release movies this October, which is a point that Sony's already at, by the way, because they delayed Venom 2 out of this October. They basically only have one option, and that's to take Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends and push them both back a year. So we'll get Halloween Kills in October of 2021 and Halloween Ends in October of 2022. Now, what does that mean for the franchise? Honestly, I don't think it's that bad. You have to consider that Halloween Ends hasn't even filmed yet. And if you look at Halloween Kills, that movie was shot at the end of August, beginning of September, and all the way into October of 2019. That's right. 2019. And if the rumors are true and Halloween ends is just a continuation of Halloween Kills, then they're going to have to shoot it around the end of August into the beginning of October, and they're not going to be able to do that this year. I can pretty much guarantee that. It's a lot of people to have together in one place, and the way things are going, I don't think they're going to be able to shoot that movie around the same time. I guess you could argue that they might take Halloween ends and film it at the beginning of next year so that they can release it in October, but that would be a really quick turnaround, and I'm assuming they don't want to do that again because they ended up up having to do reshoots on Halloween 2018 and the reason the third act of that movie feels so rushed is because they had to get that movie out by October and they didn't give themselves enough time. So considering all that I'm doubling down on my guess that we get Halloween kills next October and Halloween ends the following. So 2021 and 2022. Honestly guys I don't think that's the worst option here because at the end of the day that means we get the two best movies possible and it's hard to complain about that and also I'm assuming that after Halloween ends they're going to take a break with the franchise once again and then reboot it like they always do. So we'll get a couple more years of Halloween hype before things die down for a little bit once again. And Universal is actually really smart about doing things between movies, especially with the Jurassic World franchise. They've shown a short film on TV before to get people excited for the third Jurassic World movie. So honestly, if they're taking a whole nother year to make a new Halloween, I could see them putting out a short film or something cool to get us excited in the meantime. That's all I have for you on Halloween this week. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below on when you think these movies are coming out. And also, so I wanted to let you know that once again, I'm joining Drum Dums. We watched a movie, Dave McRae and Wolfman's Got Nards for a hollow stream. It's going to be this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Drum Dums channel. Anyway, guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne and I'll see you in the next one. Shape on.